darlings welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video how are we all today i hope you have all had a lovely week i thought i'd just film a little spend a few days with me style vlog just the classic you know you know the drill by now it is actually a wednesday afternoon i've just been pottering in the house this morning i had a few bits and bobs to film I actually just had a delivery so I want to show you these because I feel like you guys will love them but I've got these two sets um for holiday I feel like I'm really excited for holidays I've got a few coming up I feel like as soon as June hits I've got quite a few holidays so I'm starting to order bits and bobs and I'm very excited for some sun like like the sun today is going in and out and when it's out it's really warm like me and Jordan stood outside and um, while he was eating his dinner we just stood in the garden like literally just stood on the patio because we haven't really done anything to the garden yet and um, we've got our old garden furniture from the old house but we haven't done anything yet and we're not probably going to do anything at the garden this year um, probably next year just because it wasn't a priority we don't really know how we're going to use it in the summer we wanted to have a summer of using it so we can really see where has the sun the longest where we want to do different things and not rush into it so where was i going with that yeah we stood outside um eating our lunch just literally stood there and it got me really excited for holiday because when the sun's out it's actually quite warm but when the clouds come it's still freezing i mean what is the date today 17th of may this time last year it was red hot and that actually annoys me because this time last year i was out sunbathing in the garden pretty much every day getting a good base tan i'm pretty pale right now if you ask me um and i just want a natural tan to be completely honest it was also a year ago since jordan proposed oh my god have i even caught up with you guys since guys i've got my wedding dress can you even cope? I can't. So it was a year since Jordan proposed on Friday. And coincidentally, I'd booked to go wedding dress shopping on this day with my mum and sister. When I actually booked the wedding dress shopping appointment, I didn't think about the fact it was a year since Jordan proposed. Um, I obviously knew it was May, but I couldn't actually remember the exact date. Um, and then when I went back and looked at my photos, I realised it was the exact same date. So I thought, Do you know what, that's actually really nice, a year on, to go to my first wedding dress shop and have a look. So me and my mum and my sister went to Eleganza in Glasgow. If you are a bride-to-be, please, 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 please book an appointment there. It was the most beautiful shop in the world. The girls that worked there were just so lovely and so gorgeous and made the experience the nicest thing ever. Me and my mum and my sister sobbed we cried laughing we were literally on the floor like in pain laughing at one point but we also cried our eyes out at other points and it was just such an amazing lovely day and the girls that worked there made it feel so special they were bringing us prosecco which by the way was actually the nicest prosecco i've ever had in my life me and sophie were like what is this because it was like sweet and gorgeous um Anyway, four dresses in, I came out and my mum and sister both just started crying and I started crying and we put a veil on and we were like, this is the dress. Like it just, everyone had said to me, when you put on the dress, you'll just know. And I was like, I just don't understand how you just know because I'm quite picky with outfits and what I wear. Um, this dress just felt like me. It just felt like when I had it on, I was so comfortable and it just felt like it was made for me i was like i can just imagine myself walking down the aisle in this and after that every single one i tried on i was literally just thinking i want mine back on and i just knew it was the one and i was a very decisive girl my mom and sister were like do you want to shop at elsewhere and i was just like no like this is the one i know i'm going to compare every other one to it so we bit the bullet and I got my wedding dress and I actually can't believe it. That was such a big part of like the wedding plan and that I was quite like nervous for and apprehensive for, but also so excited for. And it's just made me so happy. I just keep going and looking at the fours and I love it so much. I'm just 
so excited and it was a lovely day um that was such a big tangent but i feel like i needed to update you on that because i didn't even tell you about that day because i didn't vlog it i did do a little tiktok vlog so if you don't follow me on tiktok go and follow me on tiktok i'll leave it linked in the description um i post like little daily vlogs over there sometimes and also other random bits and bobs um i've just had a package arrive from the inky list um which i wasn't expecting but funnily enough i really wanted to try this cleanser for a long time kelly the girl that does my facials recommended it to me she said it's really good doesn't clog your pores it's the oat cleansing balm um so i'm really excited to try that because i've heard amazing things for removing your makeup and i also got the caffeine eye cream which again i've seen so many people talk about so excited to try that and the omega water cream what's this then helps to hydrate skin and keep it looking healthy so what do i do use am and pm on cleansed skin apply a pea-sized amount to the face and neck i've never heard of this before i'll do some research and i'll try it and i'll report back right i've just done a quick um speed clean around the house um I'm gonna film this makeup look at some point in this vlog. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Um, because I've had quite a few requests for my everyday makeup look and I don't feel like I've done it in a while. Um, and I don't really feel like it needs a full video. So I'm gonna do it in this video because there is a few new products which I've been using. Um, so yeah, I'll film this at some point in the video. I wanted to show you, I don't know if I showed you guys my new purchase. Have I? I don't think I did because I came back from London when I bought it and we were straight into the media wall reveal. So I actually trapped myself to this bag. Now I've wanted this bag for ages. Like it's one of them things that I see on Pinterest all the time and I always save it and I love it. And I'm obsessed with blue at the minute. I keep buying, I keep buying so much blue. Um, and yeah, I trapped myself to this. So this is the Goyard St. Lucia. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Goyard St. Lucia bag in the size PM, I think. There's PM and then there's another one. This is the biggest one you can get. So whichever one's the biggest, that's what I've got. And it's just like an oversized tote bag. I use my Louis Vuitton Neverfull all the time. I've used it literally for years and i still love it so much it still will be my go-to bag but it's actually not that big mine it's not the biggest size and because it's quite structured sometimes i need something a bit bigger but i don't want like a whole doll or a mini case so that's why i got this and this has honestly became my everyday bag like i just use it every day now you can chuck so much in there like it's so spacious it's very like easy to move the leather like quite movable um so you can fit so much in it and i'm just obsessed with it i love the colors so much it goes with so much of my wardrobe i feel like it's going to be the perfect airport bag and then beach bag when you get there um but yeah i just wanted to show you it because i'm obsessed and i love it and it was just a little treat to myself um i was going to try and think of an excuse but i just thought i'd treat myself going into the summer if i'm being honest everyone everything has been going towards the house these days in terms of money so i just thought you know what let's fill my little fashion cup a little bit and treat myself to a new bag um but what i actually wanted to show you is this which i bought from amazon to go inside the bag so the inside of the bag is like a light cream color so i wanted to buy an insert to go in to put stuff in that i would be scared is going to leak granted no actually i haven't got anything in there that would leak i've got some hair fever tablets and a voucher that's fine um but i bought this i did think it was going to be a bit bigger however it does the job i don't actually need a bigger one it's just a little felt bag insert so any tote bag or any bag really this could go perfectly in and I just thought I'd show you it because I feel like it's actually very handy to have. It's just from Amazon. I'll leave it linked. Um, 
in my storefront down below. I have an Amazon storefront. I don't know if I've told you that before, but I am... Um, Anything I buy from Amazon, I link it on the storefront so you can shop loads of bits and bobs on there. I'll leave it down below. Um, but it's just got like a few little compartments. So it's got this one here, which I've got nothing in yet. It's then got this one. I've just got two lip glosses. This Makeup Revolution gloss, which I use all the time. It's like a matte one. And then my new favourite thing in the world is this Gazoo, Gazoo um honey infused lip oil guys this is insane i'd put it on but i've got lip liner on i don't really want to get it all stained it's incredible like it is so hydrating but smells amazing and leaves such a gloss to your lips honestly love it i'll leave a link down below ibuprofen tablets just in case a headache comes on hair fever nasal spray because i need this every second of every day. Little mini Lulabelle's hairbrush, which needs a bit of a clean, to be honest. Um, and then you've got three little compartments there, which I haven't got anything in. And then a zip one in the middle, which I've just got some tampons because always need them. You never know, do you girls, do you know what I mean? Just handy to have. And then in this one, we've got another pocket, which I haven't got anything in. And then I've just got my card holder and a pen from Eleganza, um, which they gave me in a little goodie bag. They also gave me, oh, you're balancing on it, a little candle. Um, and then that was a voucher, but I've used that so that can go. And that's it. But just thought that was really handy. And it literally just slots in your bag and keeps it organised. Um, yeah, that's my new little baby and I love it so much. Hope you guys love it. I feel like it's just going to go with everything in the summer, like denim, white, just anything really. Do you know what I mean? So one of the things that I got recently for holidays coming up is this set, which honestly is the cutest thing ever. So it's a black knit little crochet over bikini situation. Um, I've just got it on with underwear, obviously, but I would wear it through the day, like with a bikini underneath, and probably wear this shirt open with a bikini. But I just thought this was really lovely. It's obviously like a knit material, maxi skirt, really comfortable. This, I feel like with a white fedora on holiday, will just be so cute. Some little white sandals, little bag, super cute. And then of course, because I love the black, I had to get the white, which I think I prefer. Um, once I've got a tan, I feel like this will be really cute. You could even definitely dress this up with heels and a little bag. I just think it's really cute to throw on on holiday. I'm really loving like little knit cords. I obviously got this one from PLT, which I've shown you quite a while ago now, a few vlogs back. Love that. Love this hat. Can you see? The colours that I'm loving, like I'm just here for a bit of blue at the minute. Um, I've also got these trousers from Zara, which I'm really excited to wear on holiday. And um, there's another little knit dress from PLT. I just think it's really cute to throw on. I love the feeling when a cup of tea is so hot and you feel it go down your throat. Is that weird? Um, I am knackered. Don't know what's going on with this hair. Just got back from walking Kobe, me and Jordan just took him out. We had some dinner, we had HelloFresh beef noodles and I am just about to take my makeup off and get ready for bed. Honestly, getting up for the gym, so my alarm goes off at 10 past five and we set off at about half five. So when it gets to this time at night, I'm knackered. It's currently 20 to nine and honestly, I'm ready for bed. Like literally I could go to bed right now. Probably am, to be honest. So I need to take my makeup off. And I thought we could try the oat cleanser together because I'm really excited and I want to try it. So are you supposed to wet your face first? Damp face. 
Okay. I don't know if I am going to wet my face, even though it says to. But it's the same consistency as like my um, Alamos, which I love by the way. This is one of the big tubs. It's very good. Love it. I think I'm going to not wet my face. Even though it tells me to. Right. I'm just going to take that much. It smells nice. So I've got the Pink Honey Brow Glue on, which honestly sticks your brows down like there is no tomorrow. So if it does a good job of getting that off, then I know it's good. It kind of feels like a little bit exfoliating. I don't know if it's meant to. Hmm. I'm just gonna wet, wow, that looks scary. Um, this Elemis little flannel with some warm water. to be doing a pretty good job of removing my makeup. It's also not stinging my eyes, which sometimes with like oil cleansers and makeup removers, they can really sting your eyes, whereas this isn't. Go in with a little bit more, just to make sure that it's all off. Okay, excuse the fact that my face is literally soaking wet. I can't really see because there's water in my eyes. But for my second cleanse, this is what I've been loving recently. It's the Medicaid Surface Radiance Cleanser AHA BHA Cleansing Gel. I've literally got so many cleansers. Um, I just use a little bit of that. Rub it on my hands and then rub it all over my face. I've literally got so many cleansers um, and I just keep them all in like a box in my wardrobe and then work my way through. And it's really good because I get to try loads of different ones. Um, and that is just one that I found in there, which I must have been sent in like a PR package or something. But I absolutely love it. It smells like oranges. It's very refreshing and lovely. Okay. Oh, it's no better feeling than taking your makeup off. I'm gonna jump in the shower and put my pajamas on and then I'll be back. Okay, out the shower. Jammies are on, these are from the white company they've got these little cute flowers on they're really sweet um even in skincare i'm not gonna take you through it all because i think i showed you it in the last vlog but i'm using the l'oreal midnight serum and midnight cream honestly i love sitting here doing my skincare at my little dressing table i still haven't got a new chair though really need to get a new chair because this one is too low. I feel like I need to be higher. Oh, don't tell me I'm running out. I'm gonna do my skincare. I'm then gonna get my gym outfit laid out, ready for the morning. And then I think I'm gonna get myself in bed, to be honest. I honestly can't get over how fast time is going not to get all deep with you all on this evening um but like how is it what is the day 17th of may like when did that even happen it's crazy look at the glow that that gives my skin honestly oh i haven't put the lid back on i'm obsessed with the midnight range from l'oreal it's actually incredible um 
I also really like this Peri Pericorn MD Sub D Neck Plasma Cream. It's supposed to firm and like tone your neck. I don't know. I don't know if I've used it consistently enough, but I'm trying to do it every night to see if I notice a real difference. So I'll let you know. It's expensive, but if it works, amazing. I mean, I usually pull down on the product down my neck anyway. But we'll see. And then every single night I use my UK lash and my UK brow. So literally one swipe along each lash line. I potentially have a discount code for UK lash. If I do, I'll leave it down below. If not, then I'll leave links. Um, for these products they're amazing you've probably seen everybody talking about them but let me tell you they work wonders my brows were so sparse before this i feel like now they've actually got something there all right that's me ready for bed and i'll chat with you all in the morning night good morning my darlings it's a new day, it's currently 8 o'clock. I've just got out of the shower, just made myself a cup of tea. I'm very hot. I don't know what's going on, but I'm really hot. You know when you get out of the shower and then you feel like, oh, need to cool down. Um, I'm gonna show you my everyday easy makeup because I'm going to meet my mum at the Metro for a little shopping morning, a little coffee. So I thought, right, let me do my makeup this morning. I'm gonna show you what I do. So, that enough, I always use the L'Oreal Vitamin C Revita Lift Serum, which you guys know I love. I didn't have a very good night's sleep last night, so I'm a bit tired this morning, but it's my rest day from the gym, so I'm glad because I really needed that, I feel, today. Look at the glow that that gives your skin. It's literally the nicest thing ever. I love it so much and it's so affordable. And then using the Walida Skin Food. My skin's been feeling very dry recently. Don't know if it's like where it's getting a bit warmer, but this is just the best for giving you a really nice, glowy, natural base. And then finally, of course, my SPF. So this is the L'Oreal Revita Lift. SPF 50 which is very nice under makeup again it doesn't go cloggy on your skin um, or leave like white marks which some I found do okay and that is my skin prep done I feel like that's like the key to a nice no makeup look is the prep before because if your skin's looking nice and glowy then your makeup's gonna go on nice and glowy I'm gonna pop that mirror there so I can look in that. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is my brows. I always do my brows first, especially when I'm doing this makeup look because I can wipe away any residue around the brows. I've been loving the Honey Glue from Pink Honey, is it called? The TikTok influenced one. And I use this West Barn Co. Prep Mist, which is a peppermint mist, to just spray it inside there. And then I just use a little spoolie, get the product on and brush it through my brows. I try and like coat them down and then coat them up as well. So okay, sorry guys, Jordan rang me so I did, is that right? Yeah, I did my other brow. While I was on the phone, so that I could speed up this process. Um, but I've literally just brushed up my brows with the pink honey. It literally glues them down. Like this stuff would be so good on holiday. Like if you go into a beach club, or I don't really wear makeup on holiday at all, but I do like to brush my brows up if I haven't had them laminated. Um, 
this literally would keep them in place all day it's so so good i love it and then i've just filled in any sparse areas with the refi dark pencil i don't have to do a lot anymore because i've been using the uk lash um brow and lash serum a lot and honestly i feel like it's really filled in some sparse areas i'm quite overdue to get my brows done and they don't really need it right now because yeah i've got some little bits underneath but i feel like they're looking really thick so i'm really happy with that um that's my brows done then on to my base so when i'm doing this like every day glowy makeup look i use the charlotte tilbury flawless filter in the shade 4.5 i am um being quick because i'm meeting my mum in half an hour i don't know what i'm wearing so i just put this with the applicator on my cheeks forehead nose literally just a little bit goes a long way i feel and then using my hands i feel like these are the best tools for rubbing this in to give it like that natural finish i just rub it all in i almost use this as like a tinted moisturizer i'd say but can you see it just adds a nice little bit of a tan to your face evens out your complexion and also adds a nice glow i love this i don't know how i went so long without charlotte tilbury flawless filter in my life like what on earth was i doing before that i'm just not sure if i want some fuller coverage i then go in with the estee lauder hydra rescue it's like a tinted moisturizer moisturizer makeup spf 45 it is so good i'm not going to today because i put fake tan on my face um and i feel like i don't really need the coverage today but if i do want a little bit more coverage i'll go in with that um, but next is concealer. I use the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape in the shade 29N Light Medium. A little bit goes a long way with this, let me tell you. So I just pop it in the corners of my eyes, in the outer corner, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit under my cheekbones because i get quite a bit of redness in that area and down my nose and a little bit on my chin but again like a very little amount because you can add more and it's really easy to blend it out and then again go in with my hands and just literally dab that out again i just feel like this makes it look really natural on your skin sometimes when i go in with a beauty blender or a brush it looks a bit cakey on me so when i want this natural no makeup makeup look i just find using my hands and my fingers it's the best can you see that just brightens the under eye ever so slightly okay now that that's blended under my eyes i then use a brush for the other parts of my face that i've added the concealer so i just use this revolution brush which really needs a clean to be honest and I just buff it in and it blends really lovely with the flawless filter then it is time to bronze so as you can see I like to keep it very um, cream based with this look so I go in with the Tarte Sculpt Tape Contour which is so nice so easy to blend out I put this in the usual contour places. If you can see Corby, he is sat behind me. I don't know if you can see him. Just like that. And then I use my... Hello, my darling. Hello, my special boy. Oh, careful. Um, I just use my refi brush. I use the fluffy end. To blend it all out do you see how easily that just buffs out it's so nice that is in the shade deep bronze by the way i think there's multiple shades so he wants to go on the windowsill because he thinks he's a cat so he likes to sit on the window I don't think you need to get on the window today, actually. Little Lulu. 
just drag any excess down my neck a little bit oh, just freshly washed this dressing gown i've got makeup on it already I literally get so much makeup on my dressing gown right i'm gonna have to put Kobe on the windowsill because don't jump oh my goodness gracious me my god there you can see him in the reflection he literally just sits on the window like a cat honestly so that is pretty much all the contour blended in <laughs> can you see him he's so cute um and that is that then cream blush so two that i love charlotte tilbury matte beauty blush wand and again very similar actually in colors the refi um blush no we're not doing that you can sit on the window but you don't bark with people walking past which one do i want to use today i literally use these equally i just go between I think we'll do the Charlotte Tilbury today. I mean, the colours are very, very similar. Pretty much identical, actually. This one's maybe just a little bit pinkier. Um, but I just put it on the high points of my cheeks and a little bit on my nose. And then using the other side of the Refi brush, I just literally tap it in. Um, no, thank you. Or you'll get down from the windowsill. Such a lovely flush of pink. I'm very excited to go shopping today. I um, want to go to Harrods Beauty. I just love walking around there and looking at the makeup. So I'm very excited for that. And I also want to go to Primark because I've been seeing loads of Primark hauls on TikTok. And people seem to be getting some absolute fines. So I'm hoping the one in the Metro, any excess I just put above my eyebrows. Don't know why just think it looks cute um i'm hoping my primark has the same and has some really nice summer bits in i'll let you know what i get either way um right that's that now what do i do next up for highlight i've actually been liking a powder highlight recently just because i do a full cream base i feel like sometimes the cream highlight just looks a bit too much so i've been loving the charlotte tilbury hollywood champagne glow which is just a beautiful beautiful glowy highlighter and i just put that kind of on top of where my blusher was and that is my base pretty much done i'm then gonna add just a little bit of eyeshadow i don't do this every day but sometimes if i'm feeling like a bougie bitch we had a little bit of eyeshadow so again another charlotte tilbury product which i love is this palette look at it it is literally me in a palette like i just love all the pinky tones it's my favorite because this is like little it's easy to throw in your makeup bag oh that's getting cold ew um so i'll just take this color which is like the lightest pink and just put it through my crease really um no precision in this i just whack it on if i'm honest this makeup does need to last me until this evening because i'm going for dinner tonight and to the theater so it does need to last me but to be honest this makeup does last me even though it's like quite light and cream based it does last um all day that'll do i'm then gonna curl my lashes with my uk lash eyelash curlers these are incredible i feel like alex earl when i do this is anybody else obsessed with alex earl because i literally just want to be best friends with her i think she just looks like the funnest most gorgeous girl in the world i feel like everybody's obsessed with her look at the difference that makes it is mad same on this eye incredible and then mascara forgot about you Hello. I'm going to use this Lift and Define 5D Lash Waterproof by Makeup Revolution. I love this one. It does get on my forehead quite a bit. Forehead? It does get on my eyelids quite a bit, if I'm not careful. Which is quite annoying, but I love it either way. Oh, love it. Like, how good is that mascara? It literally just makes your lashes look so long and thick. I'm obsessed. I also really want some new trainers. I feel like I'm kind of over 
all of my, I say dressy trainers, but I don't mean dressy, I mean like trainers that I'd wear like shopping or out and about, like my Axel Arigatos are more like of a casual trainer. But all of like my Jordans, I feel like I'm kind of over them. I feel like I need some, I think I need some low dunks. So like, I don't know what colour I want, but maybe like a nude or like a brown because I haven't got like a low trainer to wear. Oh, I've got my eyelid. Oh, yeah, I haven't got like a low trainer to wear with like dressy outfits. So I feel like I could do with investing in them. I have a little look in office today. I'm just gonna use the end of a spoolie to try and clean my eyelid. I'm not gonna be too precious about it though. That'll do. I'm also gonna take my mum to the new Rowan Home Shop because I feel like she's gonna love it. I feel like she will love the decor in there. So I'm gonna take her there. Sure around. I'm going to just add a little bit more blush because sometimes I feel like I need a bit more definition. So I'll go in with the Beauty Bay Peachy Blush and a fluffy brush as a mouthful. And just add some more on because you can never have enough blusher in my opinion. Okay, let's set this in place. I've actually been loving this Revolution Super Dewy, Dewy Fix, Fix and Spray. Another mouthful. It's really good. I find it really does keep my makeup on all day. And it's very refreshing on your skin. So let me spray that. Oh, it smells amazing as well. Love it. Okay, for my lips, my new favourite little, oh, I've got a really itchy foot, my new favourite lip liner you all need to run for is from Primark. It's the shade, um, hmm, Toffee, shade Toffee in this lip liner. I think it was literally 90 pence. It's amazing. It feels like a Morphe one. It lasts so long. It's a really nice warm dark brown. I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. And then I kind of just like colour in a little bit of my lip and then just like dab it out. And I actually just like to leave it like that because I feel like that looks like I've got lipstick on, but I don't. And then if my lips get dry, I'll add my either Elizabeth Arden or like just a lip oil over the top. Um, but I think to start, I quite like it like that. But yeah, that is my go-to everyday makeup, which I literally just throw on. It's so quick and easy. It's glowy it's dewy if you get quite oily skin which to be honest I do but I just embrace it I just think I like I like a bit of glow you know but you could always add powder on before you highlight or even powder on after to like keep it at bay if I'm going out for the whole day I will take where is it oh here I'll take my Charlotte Tilbury powder and a little powder puff in my bag so then if I do get too oily throughout the day I can just like dab it on my forehead or under my eyes or whatever just to keep it a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to choose an outfit and then I'll show you what I wear and we'll head to the mirror. Okay, outfit of the day. That's a really bad angle, isn't it? I'll put you over here. Is that better? I think so. Outfit of the day is these high-waisted tailored trousers from um, Naked Fashion. This little razor top from Mango, which is kind of see-through, but you can't really see it. And then my Sora bomber jacket, which I'm actually going to do up and like fold it under, I think. Should we do that? Yeah, that's cute. So I'm almost wearing it like a top. And then my 
Goyard bag. And then I'm just going to pop on my black and white Jordan. See, this is where like a nude flat trainer would come in handy or just a plain white trainer would come in handy. So that's why I need to invest. But yeah, that's my outfit for the day. And I probably won't vlog a lot when I'm out. I will if I see anything interesting to show you, but um, I'll give you a haul when I get back anyway. Alrighty, I am back from the Metro. It's actually a good few hours later. It's currently four o'clock and I've got a set off for the theatre at five. So I need to freshen up. I've just been sat in the garden. It's red hot. Please tell me that this means summer is finally here. Not the best top. I feel like I've... um. Probably shouldn't have wore that. Is that a is that a tan line? Can you see that? I haven't got any fake tan on right now. I feel like I've actually really just caught the sun from sitting sitting out there. Well, I'm happy with that. Let's hope this weather stays and I can sit out and enjoy the sun. Hello guys, I am sorry for the abrupt ending of this video. My camera died as I was filming and then I had to rush off and it's been a very busy weekend so I didn't even get this video up yesterday for you all. It's now Monday, I'm editing it, my camera's flashing red so I'm quickly jumping on to end this video. This video is a bit all over the place, a bit of a chatty vlog but sometimes that is just the vibe for the week. I hope you all enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you did and as always I will see you in the next one. Bye.